Hey, welcome back. If X is 1% of Y, then Y is what percent of X? The answer to this question is 10,000%. All right, it's 10,000% and here's why. What we wanna do here is a, we, we, need, we really need to just translate what's going on here into mathematics. We gotta be very careful about it because if we miss a certain conceptual point, we may get it wrong very easily. So I wanna know what percent of y is x. So in the beginning it says, and this is important here, if x is 1% of y, here's how we're gonna break that down. We're gonna write x is translates to equals and then 1% of y. So how do we translate 1% of y into math? Well remember, when we convert percents in equations, we need to convert them to decimals. And we do that by either moving the decimal place over to the left two times or dividing by 100. They both do the same thing. So dividing one by 100 gives you 0 0.01. And that's why. So here's the thing. We want to discover, well, what percent of x is y? So what I would like to do here is get y by itself and get a decimal here. Because once I have a decimal there, then I will convert it back to percent. All right, so don't, don't get too carried away. We wanna get the y by itself, and then from there, again, translate that decimal back to a percent. So to do that, what we need to do is divide both sides by 0 0.01. So what is one divided by 0 0.01? Because again, there's a one there multiplied by x. So what's one divided by 0 0.01? Well, you can grab your calculator. One divided by 0 0.01 gives you 100. So this goes to 100x equals y. So this doesn't mean that this is 100%. No, 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 no. That is the decimal form. Remember, to go from a percent to a decimal, we divide by 100. So then to go backwards from a decimal to a percent, we need to multiply by 100. So that gives me 10,000% of X equals Y. Because again, to translate from a decimal to a percent, we multiply by 100 because we're going backwards. And that's why 10,000 is the answer. So if you have any questions, let us know. We're more than happy to help you out here. Just make sure that you are really assessing how to translate that English into math, and then work on the concept itself. So with that said, we're here to help. So let us know if you need it.